Welcome to leverage ratios problem two. If a company has a debt equity ratio of 0 0.8, what is its total debt ratio? And what is the equity multiplier? Now again, remember, debt in the debt equity ratio means total liabilities, not just uh, interest bearing debt. So as in the case of all of these ratio problems, there is an equation, but I try to derive the, uh, the ratio in a way that makes sense. So that way, less and sometimes nothing actually needs to be memorized. So let's try it here. If debt to equity, so debt divided by equity is 0 0.8, that means debt equals 0 0.8 times equity. So combining this along with the fact that assets equals debt plus equity, and the fact that total debt ratio, the debt, total debt ratio is debt divided by assets, then we have total debt ratio is debt over assets, which is D plus E, debt plus equity. And we know that debt is 0 0.8 equity. So we add 0 0.8 equity plus one equity, that gives us 1.8 equity. And here you see, it doesn't matter what the value of the equity is. If it's 100, 1 million, 642,840, as long as we have the ratio debt to equity, we can calculate the total debt ratio. And here we have 0 0.44. So the actual value of the equity and the value of the debt or the, the amount is not that important. Now we're going to go with an equity multiplier. Now recall that equity multiplier is assets over equity. So, and again, we have assets is equal to debt plus equity. And recall that debt equals 0 0.8 of equity. So then we have 0 0.8 equity plus 1 equity divided by equity. So that's 0 0.8 plus 1. That's 1 1.8. And again, we have that uh, value, which doesn't matter how high the equity is. So there you go. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that helped.